So hello and welcome. In our first step for this project, I'm going to ask you to spend some quality time with your photo and I'm going to ask you to observe your contour lines and actually I'm asking you to highlight them. I like to do this process because I think it slows you down. It allows you to really observe what you're doing before you even pick up a pencil and it really helps you later like tune out all the extra information and only look at the line. So for this, we're going to be using these Sharpie pens. This one's red, so it stands out. It doesn't really matter what material you use, as long as it's really like a fine point and it can see the little, well, you can make lines that can show you the detail. All right. Now this is pretty simple. When we get to our own photographs where we have maybe a lot more detail, like maybe you want to draw Beyonce, we're going to talk at length about these different shapes. This is pretty simple. The detail is going to come from the observation of like these beautiful highlights and shadows. So essentially I just have three circles and I want to point out this like triangle shape that we have there, right? And if you're ambitious, you can start to think about these little bubbles that are happening in there. Okay, what I want you to do in this step is I want you just to highlight the outside edge of the circle. And is this a perfect circle? No, it's kind of a blob. It's got a little bit of a texture to it. So I want you to highlight that outside edge. I also want you to take a look at where that highlight is and this highlight. And if you want to, you can see some of these shapes or some of these bubbles that are inside. But I do want you to loosely grab where that shadow is. Okay, so I'm going to do all three. Again, I'm highlighting that outside edge. It is not perfect. I'm seeing this triangly shape this way. And I'm going to grab in that there and this bubble. You do not have to do the bubbles that are in there. If you want to just skip that, that's a little bit too much for you to think about. You can decide that they're not there um, for this project. So again, outside edge. If you make a little bit of a mistake, if you go a little bit too wide or too skinny, just be mindful that you realize that later as well. I'm gonna just mark where that is. And this glow I have over here too. And I am going to get my bubbles and the shadow. So again, this is pretty simple. When we get to our own reference photos like this one, you're going to need to spend some more quality time in here, really observing the different shapes that you have, right, in this step. Okay, so that was highlighting our contour lines. When you are done with this step, come see me, bring your red pen in case I wanted to show you any other lines that you might have missed, and then we'll move on to the grid.